Here's the deal, 24 hours, no budget, max 2 pro crew members, basic gear that we already have, an already below, comical action with a twist, a non-existing product and a video length of max 60 seconds. That was the teaser for ya. If you want to see the whole thing, stick till the end. I always wanted to do a challenge like this, because you will have unexpected obstacles coming your way and you can't guarantee the perfection of your final video. And we did have a huge roadblock just one night prior to filming. And before we started, we did some pre-planning. We decided on the city where we're gonna be filming, who should be in the crew, who would be our actors and the date of filming. The date was actually non-negotiable no matter the weather and it rains a lot this part of the year. Now, let's see how our whole process for this ad went. And let's hurry, our time is limited. Concept and writing. For this project, my writing partner was Urban, a kick-ass writer and copywriter. And for that, we worked together in a completely non-creative environment in a business incubator. So we had no idea if we will be the right fit for this specific project. The limitations for the project were set and the clock started ticking. We quickly checked some funny existing ads and Mr. Bean sketches and that was not a good idea as we watched too many and the time was just rolling by. We gathered some ideas but we're not really sure if the comical element was going to work well or if it's just gonna look cliche. I'm still not 100% sure if it worked as it should, that's actually up to you to decide. This took us around two and a half hours. Anyway, if you need help with this part of the filmmaking process, you can check out and join my 30 day screenwriting challenge where you will learn everything you need to know when writing a script. You will get the blueprint how to effectively write your screenplay. The program consists of video lessons, practical exercises, templates and a community. Just click the link in the description if you want to learn more and I hope to see you there. Pre-production. With the script ready, we embarked on a short and sweet location scouting. As said before, we decided on a location beforehand and the important thing was that at least one of us had connections there. We chose a small town named Skofia Loka. For everyone wondering, this is in Slovenia. Yeah, the land of Luka Doncic, Jana Garmbred, Pogacar and Logan is just to name a few famous athletes. And we have dragons too. Yeah. I made a draft shot list and a simple mood board and that helped us tremendously when searching for locations. I needed around one and a half hours to do that. The locations we chose were in near proximity and accessible by foot and free. The whole scouting was done in 3 hours, because it's very small but cute town. After the scout, when I got home I prepared an updated shot list and storyboard. I just drew mine quickly as there were no clients that would need to be impressed, but just the crew that I would always work with. Because we all worked for free on this project, scheduling was a nightmare as we all had other paid projects going on as well and the weather forecast was not working with us. I sent everyone our schedule for the next day. I was also responsible for getting the sand. Yep, we used sand and you will see what for in just a bit. Urban and his buddy Tony prepared the design and printed the stickers for our non-existent product. I packed all the gear into my car and went over my notes, the shot list, the storyboard as I would be directing the project. All this work took me two more hours. And the shizzle. The evening before the filming, one of our actors got ill. We needed a replacement ASAP. We need a replacement now. It's always tricky when this happens and the question was should we postpone the filming and reschedule everything or is it going to be easier to just change? the actor and you already know that date was non-negotiable so plan b was constructed now stop the clock yes we cheated a bit and didn't count sleeping hours towards our 24-hour project but hey we were doing this as a fun passion project and not as part of the competition so i hope you forgive us production Start the clock. The morning came and Jerry, the DOP of the project, came to my place and we went and picked up Tara, our camera assistant and editor. The weather forecast was cloudy with possibility of rain. I hoped it wouldn't rain, but for safety we had umbrellas with us that could be used as props for actors and I've planned the shoot in a way that we can incorporate rain into the story if that happens. We came to our first location a few minutes before the planned time. This is always great when that happens. We took all the needed equipment to the kitchen where our first scene was happening. Jerry prepared the lights, I prepared the sound equipment, Tara did some behind the scene videos and photos that you're watching right now and Urban took care of the stickers and branding of our product. Yeah, 
We actually had some serious problems with those stickers because the product was weirdly shaped and the stickers were made for flat surfaces. Katya who stowed by made it perfect with the help of a dryer. Thanks again. In the meantime, Marco, our main actor, jumped into the bathrobe and slippers and costume for this day. We successfully and quickly filmed the first scene, packed everything and went to the next location. Even though we were filming on a municipality ground, we got an angry neighbor shouting at us about why we were filming there. When this happens, it's best to just move on and find alternative locations and we did just that. But lucky for us, we also got the shot prior to the incident. And that's what we call a win-win situation. Now, we move to the running over the bridge part, the most demanding part, because we also did the drone shot and other people were walking up and down. Somehow we forgot it was the first school day in Slovenia, there were way more people walking around than we expected. So yeah, that was a bit distracting, but hey, we did it. And you guessed it, I became the replacement actor. I think that actually made the commercial even more awkward looking, because I have long hair and I'm very skinny, especially in comparison to our main actor Marco, but the downside to this was that I couldn't be 100% focus on directing or acting so kudos to everyone who can do both perfectly at the same time and getting oscars looking at you ben affleck we filmed other running shots in the city center with a handheld camera and with a gimbal for all of you who were wondering we use blackmagic broadcast g2 in 4k b-roll and panasonic lumi gh5 feed lock or gimbal also 4k the lenses were nothing fancy just ordinary zooms not even cheap primes because the clouds were getting dark we decided we'll postpone the lunch and film everything everything outside first. We did the sand part and had to find a patch of dark asphalt for it to visually pop in the picture. Also for some reason it lasted more than an hour for us to get the pizzas even though the pizzeria was not busy and that made me a bit distressed as that was eating our time for filming and eventually for editing too. Luckily everyone was on board to film longer if needed, we didn't though. So yeah, that was lunch. After lunch we went into an old building where we filmed chasing on a staircase and fighting. fighting. The that was pretty cool. Had to clean the space a bit uh, so that the falling down would be safer. Luckily, Marco knows judo and knows how to fall without hurting himself. I think. Hopefully, he didn't tell us. Yeah. Okay. That was a big bonus and it made the final shots even better. Oh, and because the ceiling was enormous, we were able to do a drone shot too. And that was a wrap. We packed everything, stopped the clock again and headed home. We were filming from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we spent around half an hour getting all the equipment from the car. Post-production. The plan was that Tara will add in the video, but she got an unexpected call to get to work. Yes, a day job kicked in. So I started assembling the footage, editing everything together, and realizing we didn't shoot one shot and trying to make it work anyway, and got a bit of help from my wife for the last shot, a product presentation. The time was chasing me and I kind of patiently waited for feedback from my crew and Tony sent me a digital funny sign file that you will see in the video and the point of the edit was to have dynamic quick cuts and some grits, yes why not? And because I'm a bit of a sucker for 80s action films and Old Spice commercials, there is a small nod to that too. Sound design was nothing special, a layer of music with multiple layers of sound effects and every now and then a bit of on-location sound. Nothing complicated, but it did the job well. If there would be too much time on my hands, I'd probably overdo it. I didn't do a lot of color correction because the shots were lit as we wanted and a proper white balance was used. With grading, I went with darker tones and strong shadows, standard contrast but faded colors. And if you would want anything fancy from me regarding the grade, I'm just not your guy and I think you're gonna see that in the video. That's it. 23 hours and 57 seconds. Oh yeah. Bam. Now, let's roll the video.
Zaharas, Voda Brezokusa in Mehurčkov. Yes, I know, not perfect, but for sure we enjoyed making it. Hope you got a cool insight on how to film a no-budget commercial with a lot of limitations. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And action!